The MiG-21 was designed as a war machine to serve in the defense of the Soviet Union. But by far the major part of the MiG-21's combat hours have been flown by pilots of non-Soviet origin. For many years, this caused Western defense analysts a problem in assessing its real effectiveness as a fighter. It was difficult to know whether they were assessing the hardware or the performance of pilots who may or may not have been properly trained. Throughout the 60s and 70s, the MiG-21 was involved in combat. The Indo-Pakistan War of 1965, the Six-Day War between Arabs and Israel in 1967, and the Iran-Iraq War of 1980, all used MiG-21 aircraft supplied by the Soviet Union. But Soviet Air Force aircraft, flown by Soviet pilots and controlled by Soviet ground controllers, were never really tested in battle. North Vietnamese pilots adopted ambush tactics, appearing suddenly and trying to force the Phantoms to drop their weapon load. This North Vietnamese pilot says that in six months from April to October 1972, he shot down six American planes, including four Phantoms. <laughs> He says that the MiG-21 was superior to the Phantom in several vital flight performance areas. There is a discrepancy between American and Soviet estimates of the combat results between MiG-21s and F-4 Phantoms in Vietnam. America claimed a 2 to 1 kill ratio Phantoms against MiGs the Soviets claimed that the Americans were counting MiG-17s as well as MiG-21s. They said that if you isolate the Phantom's performance against the MiG-21 in the late 60s, the results were 2 to 1 in favor of the MiG. Whatever the result, U.S. authorities were disturbed by the success of the smaller and lighter Soviet aircraft. The U.S. Air Force held a lightweight fighter competition. The Northrop Company whose lightweight F-5 had been a great export success as a fighter and fighter-bomber, built one prototype, the F-17. The other competitor in the race was the General Dynamics Company. Their F-16 won the competition and became the first of a new generation of light and highly maneuverable American fighters. Traditionally, Soviet aircraft were supplied only to Soviet client countries. The MiG-21 was a breakthrough because it was bought by countries like Finland and India, traditional customers for Western aircraft. In fact, India went further. It negotiated a production license with the Soviets, and Hindustan Aerospace built about 350 MiG-21s over a period of 21 years. The last aircraft came off the production line in 1988. China received 50 aircraft from the Soviet Union just before a major disagreement erupted between Nikita Khrushchev and Mao Zedong in 1963. The Chinese copied every part of the MiG-21 and produced their own version. Eventually, the Chinese Air Force had almost 3,000. The MiG-21 was the smallest and most cost-effective of the world's original Mach 2 fighters. Its influence on fighter aircraft design will last well into the next century.